Air Zoo fans, this is Travis here at the Air Zoo, part of our guest experience team. And today I thought I'd teach you the different hand signals used at an airport when marshalling aircraft. So let's imagine an aircraft is arriving and you need to marshal them to their parking spot. You would use your lighted wands or non-lighted wands during the daytime and good weather to direct them to where to go. Your first thing to do would be to identify where they're going to park, which is forward sweeping motions to identify your gate. Once the aircraft has acknowledged that and they're coming towards you, you would then hold them out to help them line up to the parking spot and come towards you. Once they're lined up, you tell them to come forward, giving long sweeping motions outreach to direct them to come forward. If they're coming too fast at you, you might want them to slow down. Then you would go like this to indicate that they're going too fast and need to decrease their speed coming at you. If the aircraft is starting to drift to the left or the right, you might want them to correct themselves. To do that, you would hold out the direction that you would want them to go and do the motion like this to indicate that they want to turn to their left, your right. If they're drifting the other direction, you would do the same thing, pointed in the other direction. As they get closer, there will be a spot where they need to stop. You would eventually stop your forward sweeping motion and slowly bring them together to indicate you're getting closer to the parking spot and will need to stop soon. This is for the normal stop. Once they're at a spot for them to stop moving, you would cross your wands into an X indicating to stop. Once the aircraft has stopped moving, you'll then need to chalk the aircraft with two pieces of rubber or wood that'll go between the tires to make sure the aircraft does not move. Once you have the chalks in place, you would give them the signal, chalks in place. Next we have departure. When the aircraft is leaving the gate, there's other signals that are needed to direct them for their departure. One would be to start their engines. You would point one wand at the engine you want started and give them a swirling motion with the other hand to indicate you're clear to start your engine. You would do this for the other engine once it is also started. When the marshaller is done with an aircraft, they may tell them to proceed to another marshaller or to proceed on their way, and they'll give them another signal to direct them. That is just a simple motion in the direction in which they need to go. In the rare instance there's a fire during an aircraft start, there's another signal to indicate that the aircraft has encountered a fire. After a marshaller has told them that they're clear to start an engine and the engine catches on fire, they will point at that and give a figure eight motion with the wand to indicate that there is an engine fire and they need to shut down immediately. When the marshaller is marshalling an aircraft toward them and there is another piece of equipment approaching, a person, or anything that might hit the aircraft, they might need to tell the airplane to do an emergency stop. It is a very similar motion to come forward and a normal stop and is a waving motion into an X form. And that's airport hand signals for marshaling aircraft. Next time you're at the airport flying or at an air show, maybe you can identify some of these signals used by ground crew members. 